Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So this is the Double Shot at Love Season 1 Episode 10. DJs to PJs, you know what this means. We probably only got like two or three or more episodes left. Bottom line, the show should be over by the end of the month because it's been on since April. It's time. So um, Elle stopped, you know, acting all nutsy about the plane. And Nikki was like, she faking it. And um, basically they go to Houston, Texas. And it's a day in the life of DJ Polly D's life and they get to see him DJ now I kind of skipped that part because the flashing was getting too much for my eyes and the girls are just way too turnt and Susie is like chill like she wants to relax she wants to lay down she wants to chill and Darren thinks it's time to up her game so she goes to Polly's room and they talk and then they start having a makeout session and then she goes back to her room with the girls and Nikki says she wants to marry him like how do you know? Be honest. I want to see if she won, though. Like, I'm, I'm more anxious now to see who won both of their hearts and are they still with these people. That's what I want to know. And Marissa thinks it's not a good look to go to a guy's room. Who knows? Maybe it helped Darren stay. And Nikki likes seeing him in his element, like seeing Polly do his DJ thing. Like, she can see herself being his lady and all that. And then the girls go to Staten Island, New York. And Vinny says he has up his game up and he got a private boat. And Maria loves that his life is just regular and normal. It's not all like the glitz and glam. And then, you know, they go out to eat at this Italian pizza restaurant, I think. And he says he has a special friend coming. And of course, it was Snooky. So the only two people we're missing left that they have not met yet is Jenny and Ro Roger. I mean, Jenny and Ronnie. I'm sorry. Sorry. And, um, you know... Vinny and Nicole used to have a weird relationship, but they're okay now. Like, they're like brother and sister. And basically, Snooki was asking what kind of jobs they all had. Darren says she has four jobs. Susie's an RN. Kind of surprised me to see that she's an RN. Um, Elise is a cocktail waitress, and she does dancing on the side. Now, she needs to stop saying it like this, because it kind of... Because it kind of made her sound like a stripper, and she's not a stripper by far. And Snooki has some questions. She's getting good practice now that she has two sons, Angelo and Lorenzo. So she'll probably be gr grilling the girls too when she, when her sons get to be teenagers. And Snooki's getting hardcore with the questions. And Darren's just being honest. She's like, I haven't had sex with a guy about, like in a year and a half from dry as a desert, blah, blah, blah. And basically she asked the girls to go around the table and give him compliments and Vinny can't take it. I think he got embarrassed. And Elle kind of says she's feeling both Vinny and Polly, so she has to figure out which one she wants to be with because, girl, we run out of time. And Snooki asks Vinny to stay, to talk. She says that the girls aren't crazy. They're decent. Like, they ain't acting all ratchet and ghetto or whatever. Like, allowed or starting fights or anything. They're just normal. And Snooki likes Brittany. You know, she, she likes her a lot. Elle and Maria. For Vinny and Vinny takes Matt L out on an ice run. Um, Maria was crying in the bathroom. Like y'all, it's getting tough for them. It's getting tough. And they brought so basically now we're at the cap store money. They brought them all home. Then they say brought them all down. I cannot talk today. Brought them all down, and two girls are getting eliminated. So the first one was Susie. Yeah, that poor girl went home. You know, she seemed more like the scythe of the party, and they think they couldn't make, like, a romantic connection with her. And Marissa and Brittany are le left, and Brittany is crying. She had to leave. She had to get herself together, and Marissa was just standing there. And basically, Marissa was the one who went home because Polly said he felt more of, like, a friendship with her, like, friendship family instead of being romantic. In next week's episode, we actually get to meet the girls' families, like all their families. I think some of the parents aren't feeling the fact that their daughters are there, like trying to buy it for the attention of two guys. So they don't like that. And Jenny and Ronnie come too. So yeah, we're getting down to the wire. I'm more excited to see who won. Um, if you like catfish, I review catfish. It's coming back on July, July, June 12th. I'll be reviewing that and next week's episode. So anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.